I think of it every day. I regret it every day too, also. What up, everyone? Shaquille Mahjoudi here for CBS Sports. And you know who this is. He is the UFC's number 10 ranked heavyweight contender fighting Jalton Almeida in the main event of UFC Sao Paulo on Saturday. He's swanging and banging almost as much as your parents at their timeshare. Derek Lewis, how's it going, my man? Man, thanks for having me. It's going pretty good. How you doing? Good, man. So thank you for no selling that. Uh, I didn't know if I'd get away with it or not. Now, before we get to the Jalton Almeida fight, I am curious. Obviously, a lot of people were talking about that crazy flying knee that you threw out of seemingly nowhere at the start of your last fight. Are we at all thinking about maybe going with this uh, flying headbutt that I saw you post on Instagram next time out? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with anything to get the win, even if I have to yes. kick him in the nuts. That's what I'm going to do. Whatever, hey, you know what? Whatever, maybe go to Abu Dhabi because uh, they were able to get away with quite a bit of stuff on that 294 card. Right, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yes, sir. Um, now, I am curious. Um, let's talk before we get to Almeida about the Marcus Rogerio de Lima fight. Um, I know you had kind of talked in the fights leading up to that about how important it was for you to get a win under your belt after a few tough fights. Now that we've had some time to like let it sink in, how's the motivation? How do you feel finally getting a big knockout back after kind of a rough stretch for you? Oh, I'm motivated than ever. Um, the UFC put their faith in me and gave me another contract, a very, very lucrative contract, and uh, like I appreciate them for that. And so it gave me more confidence um, to put put all my work in, into the gym and into the octagon and um, to make them not regret their decision. Um, yeah, I mean – physically you know looking lean i know a lot of people have been talking about it i just want to nip this in the bud because i know i had fans asking me about it you signed a new eight fight deal with the ufc safe to say you're here for the long haul yes for sure i'm here for the long haul and it's crazy that 2017 that i wanted to give all this up and now it's like it's i i don't even want to tell people how much i'm making now because i don't want no one to get jealous <laughs> get mad at the UFC for something, you know, they did for me. So I'm not going to say. No, it's okay. And I won't try and pry that out of you. I, I am curious, though. You mentioned, you know, thinking about hanging it up in 2017. Um, maybe a little more specifically, like, what's the biggest difference between Derek at in 2017 and Derek right now? Like, where is that motivation coming from? Um, I, I guess you say the training, um, the running. I didn't, I didn't used to run back then. Now I'm running damn near every day. Um, all back then I was just doing stairmaster and thirty minute stairmaster and hitting mitts like three rounds or five rounds, whatever how many rounds my um my fight was back then. That's all I was doing. That was it. Was doing no jujitsu or nothing like that. But now I'm doing everything. Love it. I love to see that complete package together. On that note, you know. It's no stranger, uh, you are the record holder for most UFC knockouts. People love to see you stand and trade. What compelled you to take the Almeida fight on short notice, particularly knowing that this guy, you know, uh, is thinking grappling first and foremost? Oh, I didn't know. I don't know any. I didn't know anything about him. I still don't know anything about him. But my coach told me that he's just um, a grappling guy. And, you know, I never watched none of his fights or nothing like that. I still haven't watched any of his video. We're supposed to get together as a team tomorrow and watch all his fights and stuff like that and try to study him. And let, my coach already been going over stuff in, at the in the gym to let me know what type of stuff to watch out for him. But I never watched none of his fights, though. Okay. Well, hopefully not too much of a surprise what, on fight night. Yeah, what um, else uh, made me take the fight on short notice was because – We've been asking for like a couple of weeks now for a fight, and they were saying that everything was booked up. And so I said, okay. My manager called me and said um, that they willing to give me a fight, but it's short notice. Um, and also the bad news was it was in Brazil. See, I told him I never wanted to go to Brazil. And Why? So we ended up stepping the fight. Oh, because of the taxes. Oh, yeah. 
Is it as bad as it is like in Australia? Well, I don't know, but I know it's pretty bad here. Sorry, sorry about that, but hopefully we can get like a bonus or something <laughs> to help make up the difference a little bit, you know? Yeah, hope so. Yeah. It is what it is. And uh, sorry, guys, for any time I'm cutting Derek off here, just a bit of lag that we're dealing with, but the connection's holding up better than I thought it would. Um, Derek, are you aware that there is a fan account that posts a picture of you, the same picture of you before every fight until you become UFC champion? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 I, I literally found this before I found you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool, though. That's cool. All right, shout out to I appreciate whoever that is. And we'll get, get one going. We'll get one sooner or later. 100%. Um, I always put out a fan Q&A, and, and someone asked something that actually kind of sparked my interest here. Now, when it comes to UFC records, there is no harder hitter than Derek Lewis. I mean, the, you know, the, the knockout streak shows that i'm curious do you remember the moment in your life where like not that you understood you had power in your hands but you understood that you might have you know like thanos level power in your hands and there might not be anyone in the sport with more power than you do you remember a time either like in early in life or in the fight game or like dang this is crazy yeah i remember whenever they tried to lock me up for 10 years for punching somebody in the face over it because i shattered his face yeah, I remember it vividly. I think of it every day. I regret it every day, too, also. Well, you know, uh, we live and we learn, and uh, I think anyone <laughs> in the Houston area uh, can see the way that Derek gives back now. So, you know, I'm glad I'm glad where we are today, man. That's uh, that's the most important part. Yeah, Hopefully that for sure. Out, for sure. Yeah, he's good, I guess. I don't know. Another guy who shares incredible power, Francis Ngannou. I'm sure you've been asked about this today, but uh, did you get to see the Tyson Fury fight? And either way, like, just what are your thoughts yeah. hearing that he went to a split decision and arguably, in a lot of people's mind, beat Tyson Fury? No, I didn't watch the fight at all. I actually had um, a Christmas party. I mean, not Christmas, Halloween party going on. I was about to say. At my house. Yeah. And so we were... <laughs> We wasn't watching um the fights and I didn't I heard the results um the next day. Um so I guess he said that's that's an accomplishment for him for going what, ten rounds, twelve rounds? Mm -hmm. How many rounds it was with one of the greatest heavyweights they said that um that they ever had. So that was pretty good for him. Um, as we begin to wrap up here, Derek, I know you're a big hip hop fan, particularly Houston area um are you familiar with that mexican ot yes yeah, so i've been hearing a lot about him lately yeah okay is it a viral trend or do you think he's here to stay knowing uh, how vast your catalog of like local hip-hop oh uh, i believe i believe he's here to stay it's something different you know it's something completely different since young thug is locked up but you know young thug messed the whole rap game up with his little thing and i believe his flow is a lot different than the, what people usually hear so he's pretty good. Shout out to that Mexican OT. Uh, at the risk of like ruining your anonymity here, I did have people wondering uh, about some of your favorite spots to eat at in Houston. So if you're willing to share, if you were to have like the perfect day of eating at restaurants, where are you going for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert? Um, breakfast, I say got to be AHA. You gotta be aha for breakfast. Clever Lunch, too, because no one's gonna know which one you're at. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch is gonna be Mike Seafood. And dinner is gonna be Steak 48. Every damn day, every weekend. Steak 48. Where are we? Are you getting dessert there or are you hopping somewhere else to finish off the night? Oh, I'm getting dessert there. Um, actually, dessert is gonna be uh, Mastro's. Mastro's got a great. Um, um, a cake. I forgot what it's called. Some type of cake will come with ice cream. It's like real good. It's warm, melts in your mouth. It's real good. <laughs> <laughs> a butt cake, butt cake, something like that. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to believe anymore, Derek, but I'll take your word no, for it. You see, this is why I knew I could open with that intro that I did. I was like, I just hope UFC PR is not on the call, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, they they probably know about it. 
Shout out to them. Well, guys, if you're in Houston, don't bother Derek, but go check out the spots. Um, you maybe politely ask for a photo. You know, wait till, until the meal's done. Be like, hey, Derek, you got a second. Expect this answer. Yes. Oh, they, they do uh, that always anyway. I try to be on the cover, like put a wig on sometimes. They still bother me. That's good. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 actually, on that note, what did you dress up as for Halloween since you had the party at your place? Oh, well, I was just a doctor. I was a doctor. My wife, she made me, forced me into wearing something. I told her I wasn't in the mood to do anything, but she told me I had to. You know, as long as she puts in, like, the footwork and puts it all together and all you got to do is, like, wear it, I feel like that's a fair trade, you know? Yeah, so this is our annual. It was our fourth annual Halloween party, so it had to be done. So. Very sick. Okay. Uh, last thing here before I let you go, Derek. I know you got... So you got to figure out who the Jelton Almeida guy is. Watch some tape eventually. Uh, get some rest yeah. before that. I did want to thank you. Um, the only other time you and I have interacted was Madison Square Garden 2019, the Jorge Nate Diaz fight. And I went around and I asked all the fighters to do their best impressions of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And The Rock was so amused by your specific reaction that he shared the video. So that you, you kind of covered up your mouth on the, you know, the... But... Dwayne enjoyed it, so uh, thank you for giving me the little rub that day. I, I, I got to see that. I don't even remember that. Okay, well, uh, I, I, will, I will send it to UFC PR to like, forward it to you, okay? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Derek, uh, man, of course, appreciate you, man. You made the time for me today. Um, I want to leave you with the last words, so I'll do my part very quickly. Guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. If you're here, please subscribe, thumbs up, tap the bell. Uh, I didn't say it off the top so I wouldn't get fired, but thank you to CBS Sports for empowering the video. Appreciate everything they do. Derek, ahead of your main event fight with Jalton Almeida at UFC Sao Paulo on Saturday. If there's anything you want to tell the people, the floor is yours, my man. I appreciate it. Um, I just want to say just have world peace. You know, It seems like everyone right now want to go to war over something so small. You know, I just want everyone to just like come together. We got we all in this thing together. You know, we got to love each other. You know, some small like that shouldn't be destroying the whole countries and cities like that. You know, I just want everyone to come together. It's just all peace. You know, and watch my fight this Saturday.